Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to look at a position graph and create a velocity graph. Now, we've done this before, but now we're looking at situations where there's acceleration. So, first thing we're going to do is look at the position graph and just decide, is this moving to the left or the right? So, we're going to look at the slopes and say, are they all positive or negative? And in this case, this curve is going up and to the right the entire time. Any place you draw a line along the curve, they all have positive slopes. So, we're moving to the right the entire time which means the entire graph is going to have to be up here in the positive velocity region. At no point is it going left, so none of it is going to be down here. So when we draw this, we got to keep that in mind. Now we want to start off at the beginning, at time zero, what is its speed like? Remember, speed is how steep the, the slope is. So at the beginning, look at this line. This is the slope of the curve at this point. It's pretty steep which means that the velocity at the beginning is pretty high. So I'm going to put a point here. I don't know what the exact velocity is, but it's a bigger velocity because it's pretty steep. And then at the end, its slope is zero. So that means it's basically come to a stop. So that means at the end of the graph, it's done. It's zero. And then along the way, it starts steep and it just gets shallower and shallower. So that means it's going to look something like this. I don't know the exact slope, but we're just going to stick with constant velocity. So we're just going to draw straight lines for this. So the point is, though, that the object started out fast. Remember, fast means a very high velocity. And in this case, it got so slow, it flattened out, it went to zero. So this is what a velocity versus time graph would look like for this particular graph, at least something along these lines. And that's the process. Let's look at another. So this one, the graph starts off here and it is decreasing the entire way. Every single slope you draw is negative. They're all, so that's moving to the left. And so since moving to the left, we say it has a negative velocity. So the entire graph is going to fit below the zero line. There's no positive velocities. So what do we notice? At the beginning, it's pretty flat. In fact, it's totally flat. So the velocity is effectively zero. And then as we go, it gets a little steeper, a little steeper, until at the end, it's pretty steep. So that means it's going to have a pretty negative velocity. I don't know exactly a number, but it's going to be somewhat far from zero. And so I'll just draw, and I don't know the exact numbers because I'm not able to measure it. But the velocity graph is going to look something like this. It is getting more negative as we go. So if this had a slope of zero, maybe this has a slope of negative one. Maybe that has a slope of negative two and it just keeps getting more negative, which is what this graph is showing. Over time, the velocity is getting more negative. Let's look at one last graph. All right, so here there's a little bit going on. There's two real regions. From here to here is one region, and from here to here is another region. So what's happening over this first part? Over this first part, all the slopes are positive. So it's moving to the right or in the positive direction. Or it could be up, but now in the second part, all the slopes are negative, so then it's moving left. So and at the beginning, excuse me, in the middle, right in the middle, it's flat. So there's no speed whatsoever in the middle. So I'm going to start there, actually. I'm going to graph, let's say that's roughly the middle. So its velocity is zero in the middle. That's good to know. So how do we start this? At the beginning, it's moving right because it's got a positive velocity. And look, it's pretty steep. So I'm going to graph a point up here showing a pretty high velocity at the beginning, and it's positive. At the end, the slope is pretty negative. Um, you know, it's downward and it's pretty steep. So at the end, I'm going to have a velocity somewhat negative. I don't know exactly. And again, as we go through, it starts off pretty steep. Let's say it was positive 5 and then positive 4, and it gets less and less steep over time until it hits 0. And then it starts getting steep again, but now it's negative, so it gets steeper and steeper. And so that's why this graph going to look something like this. So it can be tricky. It takes some practice to do this and really get it. But over here, these this is all positive velocities. So it's moving right here, although it's not moving at the same speed the whole time. Again, notice it's moving fastest here where it's steep. It's getting slower and slower and slower until it comes to a stop. And then this region, this is where it's moving left, and it starts off slow, and it gets faster and faster. So Really, the only way to get these is to practice them and try them, but it really just comes down to the slope. So give these a shot. Um, try the quizzes until you get the hang of it. But that is it. Until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.